we can touch the you touch it there so rock from the moon hello guys welcome back to my channel and for my new viewers thank you for visiting my channel and i hope you click that subscribe button down there I'm Kim from the Philippines and now I'm here in Houston, Texas. So I'm now inside my hotel room here in Hyatt Regency in downtown Houston. I'm going to NASA Space Center which is 30 minutes away from our hotel and I booked my tour with the hotel which is $55. So that $55 already includes the round trip ticket from my hotel going there and the entrance fee. So it doesn't it does not include the food which is fine so i just ate my breakfast downstairs at shula steakhouse which is for ten dollars the service is very good so after that i'm going to show you where the pickup point is so it's already 8 45 here our meetup time is 9 20 and our pickup time is 9 30 in the morning i'm going to update you already once i'm downstairs what's your name i'm sorry you're from here? I'm from Colombia. ¿Cómo estás? Yeah. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Habla español? ¿Es good? Yeah, sí. Very well, that's good. Poquito. He's our driver for today. My pleasure to be the real driver for today. <laughs> the ticket. We're here and we need to line up for the security lane to go inside and the first thing we need to do is take the tram tour. Thank you. Get the map guide here in the guest services right after you do the scanning of your ticket. Once you get the map guide, you can see the daily schedule. So you can just ask them where to find this, where to find where, where to find what. But the first thing I'm going to do is to take the tram tour, which is over here. Can I just go directly, sir? Thank you. So, yes? Thank you. So they'll get a photo for you. Thank you. They're going to give you this one. So it's just a 90 minute tour. Before going to the tour, they'll take a video of you over there. Then they'll give you the ticket. And after that, you'll line up and wait for the shuttle. ready to celebrate a really large, a big milestone in the space program next July 2019. Are you ready for this? It'll be the 50th anniversary of Neil Armstrong walking on the moon. Uh -huh. yeah, that's pretty amazing. This is the room that Neil Armstrong was speaking to on the 20th of July 1969. Uh, a little past 3 p.m. that Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon I should say, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin pull off a near miracle. They land on the surface of the moon on NASA's very first attempt with almost no technology. If you know what Neil Armstrong told the world that night, feel free to join me. Neil tells us all back on Earth, that's one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. All that took place here, ladies and gentlemen. I've already mentioned Apollo 13. But please realize where you are right now, this is the only place on the planet you can have this experience. There's only one Apollo mission control. There's never going to be another room like that. The speech was so nice a while ago. I'm having goosebumps while he's talking. Now we're going back to the tram tour and we're going to the next stop. Okay, now we're here in astronaut training facility. So of course, from the word itself, astronaut training facility. Look what's there. It's so nice. It's only a mock -up facility though. Quarters, laboratory modules, storage modules, the solar array joint, and an airlock that allow our astronauts to enter and exit for spacewalks. The International Space Station is a partnership of 15 nations from different international space agencies. These include United States NASA, the Russia's Roscosmos, the European Space Agency, Japan's JAXA, and Canada's CSA. 
that's what's inside this building. So let's go to the third. So this guys, this rocket house in this building is one of the three surviving vehicles built to launch American astronauts to the moon during the Apollo program of the 1960s and early 1970s. If you want to know more about this, you can rent this audio tour with the headphone and iPad. So for me, I just read the signs here, but you will know more about it if you have the audio tour. So this is it, Saturn. Guys, that's the 90 minutes of our Trump tour and we're going to check what other activities we can do inside to make the most of our time here. We're going to Star Ship Gallery Destiny Theater. I just exited the cinema, so if you want to go to the cinema, there's no timing, so just be free, whatever time you want to go, just go inside. It's a very short film. It's a very good film, and you can see Neil Armstrong jumping around when they're taking the photo with the flag. It's very good. Okay, so once you go out, this is what you will see. Not. So in reality, it looks like this. Skylab, America's first space station. This is the actual trainer used by astronauts to train for life aboard Skylab. That's how it looks like inside. Let's go out. So we're going to the Independence Plaza. This, it's there. Then you go outside. If you want to go up, you can take the elevator or take the stairs if you want. But let's take the elevator. We're now here in the flight deck area. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Then when you go to the elevator, each level of the elevator has a identification or description. So I went to the flight deck first. That's the topmost um, levels of the elevator. So small. A lot of buttons. That's the flight deck, and we're going there next. Down. Look at that view. Look at that view. It's perf. Look at that wings. It's the biggest airplane. This one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's an airplane, but that's the biggest airplane wing that I saw. I'm not sure, maybe just, I'm just imagining. <laughs> but I think that's the biggest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Mm. Now I'm in the mid-deck on the third floor. And in the mid-deck, you can see the sleeping bag. So that's where the astronauts sleep. So there's no orientation when you are in space. So that the astronauts avoid bumping to other things. So they just go in this sleeping bag, which is attached to the wall. And they also have this pumpkin soup. It is worn by space shuttle astronauts during launch and entry back into Earth atmosphere from space. And they also have lockers and space walking suit, which is there inside. And that's where they poop. Now we're going to the second floor. So guys, I told you that's a wing of a plane, right? So I'm correct, this is a reusable plane. So as you can see, there's like a business class seat here. And there's like another exhibit inside. It's a Boeing 747. So if you need better explanation, watch it over here. And just listen to it and it will explain all about it. Who dreamed up this remarkable partnership of an airplane and an orbiter? Whose imagination solved the thorny problem of returning the shuttle to its home base? 
His name was John Kiker. There are also connected activities about the reusable plane that you can do. An example of this one, giving the shuttle a lift. So you need to connect the space shuttle to the Boeing 747 and stabilizing the aircraft also, you also have it there. We're exiting and I enjoyed it. We're here guys. As you can see, this is the perfect spot. If you're going to the other side, it's the entrance. There's elevator, but if you're going to the other side, there's no obstructions. So you can see the whole thing already. We're going back inside. And who knows, guys, it is quite possible that I could have evolved at some point in its past. Now Mars is one half the size of the Earth and has one third the amount of gravity relative to Earth. So all the urine goes right into this hose right here and guess where that urine is going to end up? Right over here. And that's right, we drink it again and again and again on the space station. How is that for refreshment up there? We have like different activities here for the kids, for the adults. RB3060.com Once you go inside, they will make this like video of you. So I'm going to buy this ref magnet. You try it. Inside the souvenir shops, you can also see ice cream sandwich. I'm touching it. It's not food. Space foods. There are also t-shirts, sweatshirts, tumblers, every souvenirs that you can think of, they're here. That's my last show for today. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have the time to do everything. I need to go outside already because it's time for our pickup. And I don't want to be late because the hotel is 30 minutes away. I don't have the money to go back to the hotel. There's also free Wi-Fi here, but the Wi-Fi is not very strong, the connection. Let's exit. I actually enjoyed NASA Space Center. It's educational and I learned a lot. And it's just very interesting to see everything in person. That's in the photos or books or videos or in YouTube. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thank you. See you on my future travel vlogs. Bye-bye.